What's up, guys? Well, tonight is the night. I have been waiting for this fight for uh, quite a while. Hell, probably close to two years, actually. You know, when uh, Kell Brook went to the uh, Crawford Con fight, uh, first pursued this fight, wanted this fight. You know, that was what, the uh, in the first half of uh, 2019. And uh, here we are, November 14th, 2020, and this fight is upon us. Um, you know, this is a bit of a, a dream fight for me, man. Um, you know, these are two of my favorite guys. Um, I would say Kell Brook is still uh, my favorite uh, boxer. And um, I'm a Terrence Crawford fan. He's... He was my number one pound for pound. He currently is uh, number two in my top five pound for pound. You know, uh, fan of uh, his and Bo Max, man. Um, but tonight, I'm rolling with Kell Brook. Uh, not just because he's my favorite boxer you know like I said I'm a Terrence Crawford fan uh this is a dream fight for me I you know this was not something that was on the radar something I ever thought would happen uh two of my favorite guys fighting each other um you know, after Kill Brook you know lost to Errol Spence and and went up and had three fights uh at 54 you know, I, I have said, and, and I will stand by that, uh, I felt that Kill Brooks should have uh, went for titles at 54 and 60 to uh, secure his legacy and pursue, you know, uh, the Hall of Fame. But uh, he has this uh, love affair, uh, an obsession almost with the welterweight division. You know, with him starting out as a welterweight, with that being, uh, you know, like the, the glamorous division of the sport, um, that he was a champion, he couldn't get the big fights that he wanted because nobody wanted to fight him. He had to go up to fight Triple G to get a big fight, you know, and, um, you know, the bottom line is, you know, he is one and two in the three biggest fights of his career. You know, uh, he had a a huge win against Sean Porter. Nobody can can take that from him. Coming to America and outboxing the undefeated Sean Porter to win a world title. Um, but you know, uh, I am believing what Kill is saying, man, about you know about the hunger, the desire, uh, you know, the belief that he has in winning this fight. You know. Uh, I just, I just, I just have this feeling, man, that 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 he can pull it off, and um, I'm I'm going with him in this fight. You know, the odds in this fight were ridiculous, were out of line. Um, I was saying to myself, you know, if I could get a plus five hundred on Kill Brook, you know, I would take that, man. I would play a plus five hundred. And sure enough, when the odds came out. He was plus 500, plus 550, same as he was with Golovkin, you know. Um, but, you know, I was like, you know, it looks good, but I'm going to wait because I figured that people would put money on Terrence Crawford. And sure enough, they did. To the point where Thursday night when I checked the odds on ProBoxingOdds.com, I was seeing Kell Brook as high as a plus over 1100 underdog you know plus 1100 on five dimes I think it was like a plus 1125 and there was no casino that had him higher than that you know those kind of underdog odds on a guy that I have never seen get out box in a fight I've never seen him get out box you know uh, I had him beating Triple G uh, in that fight Dominic Engel was the one that stopped that fight, waving a towel. You know, it was not like uh, Triple G had Kill Brook laid out cold on the canvas. Could not answer a 10 count. That's not what happened. You know, um, in the Arrow Spence fight, you know, despite my support of Kill Brook leading up to that fight, or, you know, uh, the way I feel about him as a boxer. 
you know, the, the tale of that fight is, according to everybody online, was that Kill Brook was winning the fight. He was out boxing Nero Spence uh, before he became a one-eyed fighter. You know, once once his other eye socket went, then the fight changed, you know. Uh, but when it came to, to pure boxing, you know, uh, it wasn't like Errol Spence was dominating and outboxing Kill Brook in that fight. You know, that's not what happened in that fight. So, uh, you know, I, I have I have not seen anybody just outbox and dominate Kill Brook. You know, uh, if if Terrence Crawford can outbox him, uh, you know, eight four, you know, nine three, ten two, you know, if if he can outbox Kill Brook, man, I would be very impressed. Uh, I personally do not see if Kill if uh, Terrence Crawford wins this fight. I don't see him stopping uh, Kell Brook. You know, I don't. Um, I think if he wins this fight, it will be by decision. You know, um, I've heard people calling to the boxing voice and people talking about this fight. They think, they just think like Kell Brook is like this little soft pushover, like, a, you know, a quitter and all this and that. You know, and uh, I don't view Kell Brook that way, man. You know, I, I view him as being a tough guy. You know, a, a courageous guy. You know, who had to, who, who went up to fight uh, Triple G. Who then went in after you know going up and waiting in, having a, a serious injury. You know, getting in with Errol Spence. Um, you know, I don't see Terence Crawford stopping Kill Brook unless he can land a devastating body shot that Kill Brook cannot recover from. You know, something like that. But I'm hearing people talk about you know. Uh, he going to stop him in five rounds. He going to stop him in seven and nine rounds. You know, I just I just don't see that shit happening, man. You know, how many times clean has Kill Brook been knocked down? Um, maybe in, in a Triple G fight, he, he went down once. I, I In my opinion, I think it was from a punch. It probably should have been called a knockdown. But the ref calls it a slip. All right. Uh, when Errol Spence was... You know, going at him against the ropes in that fight. You know, Kale took took the knee. It wasn't like, uh, you know, I, I just don't think that it was, you know, Errol Spence, uh, you know, overwhelming him to the point to where I hurt him to the point where he had to, he had to, uh, the way he got knocked down. No, you know, uh, I, I think that Kale wanted to take that break in the fight himself. You know, he was clear, conscious, and aware. He just it was having the eye issue. You know, um, and then, of course, at the end of the fight, he voluntarily took the knee to uh, save his eyesight. But it's not like that Kell Brook is a mere con, you know, uh, constantly cheating, constantly doing, a, you know, a chicken dance and going down all the time. You know? Uh, so I don't I don't see a stoppage uh, on Kell Brook in this fight. If, if Terrence Crawford does stop Kell Brook, you know, depending on the circumstances, I would be impressed. Um, and if he outboxes Kill Brook, I would be impressed. But I'm telling you, man, uh, in my opinion, Terrence Crawford don't want to take too many flush shots from uh, Kill Brook in this fight. You know, uh, Kill says that he is punching very hard. Uh, he cut the to 47 for this fight and looked good uh, in doing so. You know, there have been times in the past where the guy cut to 47 and he he did not look good, man. He looked like like you know like like bones like I mean had no definition just looked terrible you know um you know Kell Brook looked look straighted man and, and muscular in at, at 47 when they weighed in and you know, also you know uh I, I don't I don't think the weight cut would be an issue you know and no excuses from Kell Brook you know regardless of what happens in this fight you know, uh, no excuses about Wade, about Dominic Engel not being in his corner or anything. You know, he, he called for this fight. He warned this fight. Um, you know, uh, and, and I mean, you know, he, he's won and two in, his, in, in the biggest fights of his career. This is a must win for Kilbrook, man. You know, a must win. He called for this fight. Uh, he, he, he's been saying all the right things about, about making Wade, about having a great training camp and all that. So it's win or bust, man. You know, uh if he if he loses this fight, no excuses. You know, he'll have to uh you know, take it on the chin. 
Uh, I, I think the the no IBF uh, rehydration clause, you know, 10 pounds in it the following morning, not having that is going to help him in my opinion. You know, in my opinion, I think Kill Bruce should uh, try to keep this fight in the middle of the ring as much as possible and uh, try to use his power to his advantage because I view him as being the uh, the, the stronger guy, the uh, having, you know, the, the more powerful punch in the fight. You know, he don't need to be following Terrence around the ring like Victor Postal, like John Molina Jr. You know, no, you know, tiring himself out. You know, you know, uh, losing stamina, taking away from his legs. He needs to stay in, in the middle of the ring and, uh, and not not make it a a, a brawl. Uh, but, you know, he can have an intelligent, uh, you know, boxing contest and uh, hit Crawford with some power shots and possibly hurt uh, Terrence Crawford, man. You know, if if Gamboa can make him do, you know, chicken dance, if if Kavalaskis can drop him. You know, Kill Brook can hurt and drop Terrence Crawford, man. You know, um, you know, a, a knockout would be a, a, a tremendous shock. You know, um, it would it would be uh, very memorable. And uh, you know, I like having memorable moments instead of always the predictable outcomes. You know, um, so. You know, really, that's how I'm seeing the fight, guys. Um, you know, I'm not using any notes. I'm just kind of talking about it off the top of my head, man. Um, some people saying they they weren't hyped for this fight. You know, they expecting Crawford to just blow through Kell Brook. You know, and I don't see that, man. Um, I see Terrence Crawford as being in with the 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 the, the best name, the best test of his career. You know. Um, there's nobody on his resume who who can fight like Kell Brook, in my opinion, you know. Um, and I'm very interested in seeing how this fight plays out, man. You know, very interested. Uh, so you know, I don't know if I don't know if it's going to a decision. I don't know if somebody's gonna get stopped. You know, um, I do believe if Crawford wins, it would have to be by decision. I don't think he's gonna stop Kell Brook. You know, despite what the odds makers say, despite what boxing fans say, um, if Kell Brook can land numerous times in the fight, you know, if if he can land shots, if he can have success on Crawford, I think he would have uh, a shot at a stoppage. You know, I, I don't think Crawford, you know, would want to eat those uppercuts that he was delivering to, to Golovkin, and you know, uh, you know, if getting hit flush like he got hit against Kavalaskis who dropped him, you know, get hit like that by Kell Brook a couple times, and shit ain't gonna go too well, man, I just don't believe, you know, he he knocked out uh, Bazooka DeLuca with a jab about right after he had busted him up, you know, started off slow, he was inaccurate, and uh, once he started finding a target, you know, once he, he started hurting and, and busted up DeLuca, he finished the guy with a jab, man. That's a hard kill Brook hit, so, you know, the uh, naturally bigger man, you know, the guy with the punch in the fight, you know, not, not hating on Terrence's punch because he does have a punch. But uh, pound for pound, I believe that Carol Brook is a, a harder hitter. And, uh, you know, uh, I just can't wait, man. Uh, uh, it's, it's probably about two to two and a half hours before the fight will start. Um, I think I am going to try to sneak a nap in, so I am uh, well awake and aware during this fight. And uh, I will watch and I will score and and uh, break down the fight. And uh, I will come on after to do a post-fight. Um, thankfully, this fight is on ESPN. Shout out to Top Rank, who is doing a great job with their YouTube channel promoting you know, that, that weigh in on uh Max on boxing the the back and forth they had was brilliant. I mean top rank is, is doing it big, man. Gotta give it up. Um so thanks to them, thanks to ESPN for putting this on ESPN. Uh this is a big fight regardless of what anyone says. I don't know how this guy's gonna play out. Two of my favorite guys 
going in. I'm pretty sure they both will be two of my favorites coming out. And um, I just can't wait to see the result, guys. You know, uh, if I had done this video a, a couple weeks ago, I would have said that, you know, my, my head is picking Crawford, but my heart is is, is uh, going with Kill Brook. Uh, but tonight, I'm telling you, I'm I'm going with Kill. You know, I want to see the upset. You know, I put a little money on this fight. The odds were just out of control. It could make for a great payday. And uh, it would be quite the story because, um, you know, if, if, if Kill was to lose this fight, he would be 1-3 in the four biggest fights of his career. And if he wins this fight, he could even it up. He'd go 2-2. Two and two. He would have a uh, a big money rematch with uh, Terrence Crawford because uh, there is a rematch clause. And uh, there would be another big payday. Um, and then after that, either if, if he won the second fight, he could have another big payday at welterweight. Or maybe parlay that into a WBO 154 title shot, you know. So, a lot on line for Kill Brook, man, you know. Um, and his head seems to be in the right place. Uh, I think the, the controversy with Eddie is going to help boost him. The, the trash talk from Crawford is going to help boost him. The haters are going to help boost Kill Brook. And um, his new team, you know, I was kind of concerned hearing the guy talk to Kill and in Spanish, but, you know, um, I, I think it could be a good thing, man, having a different perspective, kind of, maybe these guys are more aggressive, more, you know, uh, have, you know, more, more, uh, dog in them than, uh, say, a Dominic Engel, you know, um, so, you know, maybe this change of scenery could make Kill happy, make him a, a better fighter in the fight, you know, so, um, and I would suspect, I didn't talk about what Crawford could do or should do in the fight, but I suspect that he would try to have a, a body attack on uh, Kell Brook and uh, possibly look for stopping Kell Brook. You know, um, uh, I just, you know, with, with the weight cut, they're going to think that, you know, Kell's body is vulnerable. And um, you know, I, I guess I guess we'll see. Um, but, you know, I think that's all I got for this guy's, uh, pretty long pre-fight for me, but, you know, just a, a, a lot to say and, um, kind of put out there and break down about the fight and the circumstances around the fight, you know, um, I can't wait, guys, big fight to me, so, that's it, let me know what you think, and, uh, I will check in after the fight, thanks for watching.